I've been bashing my head against the wall for the past 10 minutes trying to think of a clever intro for this. Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome to Mario Party 4's Booze Haunted Bash! Tonight we have, with our lovely guest, we have, of course have me as Luigi. We also have the Wa Master himself, Waluigi, not Peach Daisy, and um, Red Luigi. Yeah, that's what it is. So, welcome to Boo's Haunted Bash! It's so good, it's scary! I'll be your ghost, your host! This board is a scary little spook house that I cooked up a while back. I wanted to scare everyone who set foot in here. Let's see how you do. Now, let's see who gets to go first! Hehehe! <laughs> and... I'm not going last, surprisingly. With me and my luck of getting low numbers all the time, I'm kinda shot that Waluigi uh, didn't beat me in that. But we are going third! Yeah! Yeah! I'm so happy to be going last! Just like in most things that Nintendo gives me. Yeah. Happy haunting! Alright, so the first star is... Gonna be quite out of the ways for a while. As soon as it becomes my turn, we'll get a good overview of the map. I'll go over all like the spaces and stuff because Mario Party 4 is a bit different than Mario Party 2. If you could uh, take a look at it, I mean it's an entire console generation away. All right, Mario's land on one of the new spaces in this game, the mushroom space. You have a 50/50 shot of either getting a mini mushroom or a mega mushroom. Mini mushrooms let you roll one to five and also access certain areas and play the mini games that are on the board. Mega Mushroom lets you roll two, mush uh, two dice and steal ten coins from anyone you pass. Alright, so... Oops. Boost Haunted Bash! It's a pretty standard board, even for this game. A lot of people don't like Mario Party 4. It, they say it's the weakest out of all of the GameCube Mario Party games. I can kind of see why, because the way that the... Um, the board layout is, instead of integrating it with the map itself, it floats above it in some areas. Honestly, it never really bothered me that much. I kind of like it a bit more in Mario Party 5, but mostly because I like the minigames in this one much better. But for Boo's Hunter Bash, we got a couple of things. Um, as you can see, it was a very standard board. It's very squarish. It's broken into a bunch of quadrants. Um, the main gimmick here is the pink booze, or red booze, I'd call them pink because that's more pink than red. Um, anytime you pass p uh, pink boo right here, the floating um, bridges right here will go away. You have to pass them again if you want to uh, bring them back. So the blue, blue, blues you see here floating around, then they're a good indication. Also the fact that the bridge is there is a good indication. Um, the ba -bomb icon right here is the battle minigame, self-explanatory, I went over it in Mario Party 2. Uh, we got Bowser Space right here, we've got the shops right here, we got one of the main gimmicks of this game, well, I guess the other main gimmick, is the little ghost train station. You follow a path, you get to make any turns you want, and then anyone you pass, you can take them along, so it's actually a good way to steal uh, someone's progress to get into the star, if you know it. You can take them to any of these stations right here, anything that has the graves on it, that is where the ghost train will lead to. Right here, past the little mini thing, we got a bunch of chance times, actually a trio of chance times right here, but also right here is the item mini game. Yeah, this is the item mini game. You have to have the mini mushroom to actually use this. It's one of the things I don't like about Mario Party 4 is the fact that to play the cool little board mini games, you got to have uh, you have to be mini for it, which is kind of sucks because especially if you make a very low roll and sometimes you just miss it by one, like I have done multiple times in the past. Up here is the coin collecting mini game. You just basically have to hit the right number of buttons in rhythm to get a certain number of coins. And the only thing um, that is unique to this board is up here with these two happening spaces. This is Big Boo. He works pretty much like he does in Mario Party 2, allowing you to steal coins and stars from um, all other players. The only thing is, to summon him, you have to have the little turn dial um, so that he is facing forward for you to, well, actually talk to him. So you gotta land on the happening space, I think, two, three, two or three times. But, with that said and done, let us get started. And start off with a low roll to get my place. I got a high roll. And oh boy, what choices do I have? Well, let's see. 
Well, no doubt Daisy's gonna get Pink Boo up there, and I don't really see it. Oh, I forgot to go over this space right here. This will basically launch you onto another player's space, so... I guess it's good if you want to try and snipe a victory from someone if they're bad rollers. Um, I guess we can go straight towards the shop. That's just really gonna detour me a lot. And Mario has the mini mushroom, so I have no reason for me to go up there and get it. We just rule on a seven. Is he following my footsteps? Nope, he's going up to his girlfriend. Right, we got Mario Speed Wagons. This is a mini game that has confused me a lot as a kid. Time to race on the speedway. Step into the gas when the light turns green. Oops. There you got R to accelerate, A to change gears. When your meter starts blinking, it's time to shift gears. You can hit the gas a little before the green light for a good start. If you overdo it, you'll spin out and ruin your start. Honestly, the timing for this has always been weird to me. I think it's when the second to last... Um... Second to last light pops up. There we go. Got a good start. Also, I love Waluigi's uh, dragster design. And there we go. Very easy minigame if you play against the AI. If it's against human characters, then it could be challenging since, you know, they have better thought process. But already we started with the minigame star. Very nice. We're in first place. And no Peach, so there's no, like, bad luck. I swear, if Bowser ha happens to show up eight or nine times like it, he did in um, Horrorland, I'm just gonna lose it. Are you using the mini mushroom? Really? So much for a hard AI. What the hell is he? Is he trying to get a low roll so he just goes straight or something? Level three. All right. Party up at Pink Boo's, I guess. Fine, I'll go to the shop all on my lonesome. Nice, a perfect 10. All right, let's take a look at the item shop. I love the fact that the item shops in this game are hosted by, like, the board-specific characters. It's a nice little touch. All right, let's see what we can get. We can get a mini mushroom. We can get a mini mega hammer. Make other players mini or mega. I don't know why you want to make a mega. I guess it's a 50-50 shot if you want to screw them over or give them a huge boost. Super mega mushroom lets you roll three dice blocks instead of two. The swap card is you trade the items with the opponents at random. And the super mini mushroom lets you roll two dice blocks, but still only roll one to five. Uh, you know what? I'll grab myself a mini mushroom. Two, one. Ah, oh, you're so close. At least it's not Bowser. Actually, I want to check something real quick. I can't do it all while we're this way. I'm going to wait till my next turn. He actually sounds genuinely terrified about the fact that Boo disappeared. Ah, uh, candlelight fright. This minigame's not good, especially if you're the one player. Or no, if we're the three players, because the range on the scene is very short. One player holds a candle, while the other try three try to extinguish the light with their water guns. Move around with Mario, move and shoot with us. The team players should surround the candle holder and fire it. The lone player should keep moving around. The range on these water guns is abysmal. Like, it is very laughable. Every time we also hit Mario, the light gets dimmer, so it's a bit harder to find him. Alright, nice shot, Daisy. It's two. I think it's either three or four. Nope, it's gotta be four. Mario, get back here. Get back here. Mario, Mario! Alright, it has to be five then. Ah, he's so close. Mario! How did we all miss him there? Hmm. 
You win this round, brother. At least I still have 15 coins. Alright, they just get a mushroom. Ooh, she gets a mega mushroom, which she just did. She's definitely gonna be using that on Mario and Waluigi next turn. I need to get a high roll if I wanna escape her. Okay, she's only using it against Waluigi, but it can also be used against me. Ooh, Mario's gonna use it though next turn on all three of us. Alright, please, for the love of God, a high roll, not a one! Six, I'll go with it. Never gonna land on that mushroom space. Also, I forgot to check the map again. Can we get money belts this time? Nope, tree stomp. Oh boy, tree stomp. Oh, this is a mini game. That is a laugh and a half. And it's against Mario again. He's always the odd one out. Three players control robots while the other player runs. The runner must stay alive for 45 seconds to win. Move around, charge forward, change direction, move forward, back. Grabbing the golden banana will make you faster, but be careful how fast you get going. It's a very blessing or curse item because if you don't pay attention, you can run out of control and run right into one of the walkers. Star! Luigi. All right, come on, back him up, Daisy, back him up. Ah, nice. He had all the chance in the world to dodge that, he didn't. So, I guess while I take this time, I might as well make a note of something. And this is something that's genuinely um, intrigued me about Mario Party. I wasn't planning on doing this board next. I was actually planning on doing um, Creepy Caverns in Mario Party 3 as the next board. But there's a part of me that thinks that that's a good board for a Halloween run and not a good board for a Halloween run because it's called Creepy Caverns because, you know, creepy and stuff. Okay, thank god he doesn't get us. Um, it's called that, but... At the same time, it does have some creepy elements in it, but it's more like a cave-like level, but the namesake and all that stuff, while he's getting, making mushrooms up the yin -yang. So, I kinda wanna hear in the comments, do you think Creepy Caverns of Mario Party 3 would count as a, a spooky board, a Halloween board, a horde board, or whatever kind of board in that general area, kinda like what Bruce Haunted Bash and Horland are? I'm honestly kinda curious to see what people would think, and if you, so, then give some reasoning to it. I'd love to see your reasoning. I also forgot to mention this right here. This is the lottery. Um, if you pass by it, then you have a chance at, well, getting coins. More often than not, you, not, you don't win anything. It's just basically there to waste some coins if, when you get so close to the finish line. Let's see. Okay, so I can uh, get the item in the game before we go to the star. I just need to be fast enough to be daisy to it. That is not fast enough. Hey, let's see what you got, Boo. Ooh, warp pipe, that's good. I can change places with a randomly chose opponent. Uh, that warp pipe would... And you know what? I'll get a Mega Mushroom. I can go for the double rolls. I should also make note that if you use the Mega Mushroom and you pass by the star space, you do not get the star. It just skips the space, so you want to be kind of careful when you use it and make sure you plan your path accordingly. I can go boom. This is a this is actually a mini game that actually I won on the first round because all three of them hit in the same cannon before. The team player also it's Mario again. He is such an odd man out here. The team player is hide in any of the four cannons. The lone player must fire the cannons to find them. Got ABXY. 
Same with us, the pick a hiding spot. The last button pressed by each player to decide which cannon each player will hide in. Wait until an off screen to hide. That is only useful if you're playing with friends nearby. Honestly, you can just wing it. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna just randomly press buttons for the remainder of this. And just see where it leads. If you don't press anything throughout the entirety, you automatically go out and like a trap door opens up underneath you. It's kind of funny. I have no idea where I'm hiding in, and I'm hoping Mario didn't get me. Nope, that's a dud. Either we're each hiding in the cannon and Mario can't win this period, two of us are hiding in one cannon and he still has a chance, or all three of us are hiding in the cannon, which would be incredibly stupid. Don't be. Oh dear. Please do not tell me that we're all hiding in one cannon. I swear. This is make or break. Of course it'd be me. Also, I kind of figured I would be hiding in X. But it's probably a good thing I didn't hide in X because we will all be hiding in that same cannon. So, my sacrifice still won us the minigame. It's a very risk, yeah. It's a very risky mini game. I kind of like it. That's why I like a lot of Mario Party 4 mini. Yeah, oh no. Low rolls, low rolls. Two, six. Damn it, she got me. All right, Daisy. Listen here. You and me have to have a little talk about this abuse of mushrooms. Also, I'm surprised Mario didn't get it just to rub salt in the wound, because he probably would have been able to get me as well. Oh, good! I can actually get Mario, no problem. I was planning on using my Mega Mushroom after this. What the hell is Mario doing? He's going to try and use that against us next round. I need to get a high roll with this uh, Mega Mushroom. Alright. Let's do this. I'm hoping for double tens, or double sevens, or double anythings, really. I can use the even more coins. And jump! Ah, three. One. One. Ten! Four. I think I might have gotten Daisy. Yep, I got her. Alright, well. I managed to bypass the lottery, and I also at least got my coins back, and will be spared a little bit from Mario's Wrath. It's a three-person race to that star. Ooh, lucky minigame! It's time for me to decide the coin prize of this minigame. I'll just spin this wheel. You win double, triple, or just a normal amount of coins, but we can actually win double coins to this minigame. I'm so good, it's frightening! Alright, minigame of choice is going to be... Domination. Don't remember this minigame. Oh wait, I think I remember, is it? Yeah, that's what I thought it would be. Press the switch repeatedly to set up your Womp Dominoes. Wominoes? Womp Pizza? Oh, whatever. Just have to tap A repeatedly to hit the switch. Press A as fast as you can for 10 seconds. Nice advice. That's not so much as advice, more of this is what you need to do to win the minigame. Alright, gotta be really quiet. I don't think I already won this one! Ah! I don't think we won. Eighty Womps is the record. I, yep, I was the last, and I think Daisy won. Nope, Mario. Oh, now it's a four-person race, and Mario has a higher chance to get in the star now with that Super Mega. I was kind of hoping for a coin collecting mini game to be honest. I've never been good at press A to repeatedly tap something mini games. I used to be, but it just didn't work out. Alright. Uh, yep, that, just as I thought. I 
think Mario might have a star here. Eight. Yep, he got me. I think. Yeah, I think he got the star. Twenty. Actually, I think he might have bypassed the star. Ouch. Wait, what? Mario, what are you doing? Are you going after poor Law Luigi now? Nope, just barely got him. He was just doing that just to get coins. Let me let me do some. I could get a mini mushroom, and I could... Ooh, I could get chance time. I don't think I want to. I'd rather use it to get the mini game, to be honest. Alright, I need to roll a... One, two, three, or four to get a happening space. One, two, three, four... Oh, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight or lower, and I will be guaranteed the... Boo. There! Ten. I didn't get the mini game. Oh, hell yeah, I'm gonna go straight. At least I am dead set to get the the star next turn. Unless I roll a one and get a battle mini game, and then I lose all my coins. I just gotta hope Daisy she shouldn't be able to get me no matter what. Ooh, Sparky Sticker. That's a trap item that when you lay it on the... I think it's the space you're standing on. Anyone who passes it loses 10 coins. Oh yeah, and you can't use that unless uh, Pink Boo's gone as well. Sorry, shop. Oh yeah, you actually do need to get the lucky ticket. It's actually a rare chance to um, get a whole bunch of coins or stuff. And that is the most likely of outcomes you will get out of any minigame inside the lottery shop. And you actually don't lose coins for it. I thought it paid you like five coins to be able to do that stuff. Stamp outs. Try to stamp as much of your color as possible. If everyone stamps less than 5% of the field, it's a tie. I don't think that's ever been possible, especially with the AI. You have to, like, purposely... purposely not do that. Change the direction and jump. Holding A longer allows you to jump further. Experiment with a pattern that works with you. Works for you, I guess. Either way. <gasps> Colors are like a coloring book using nothing but stamping. best to try and hunt down the other player's stamping spots and just color over it. Actually, kind of surprised that they're not going after my spot, Daisy. I see what you're doing. I don't even think. Don't even think about it. Nope. I got it. Nice. It was because of that huge space down there that no one went after. I think Daisy was thinking about it, but she got scared when she saw me going down towards her. Alright, someone's gonna need a godly roll to be able to steal that star from me, but I think it's a guarantee, unless I roll a 1. Knowing my luck, I'll roll a 1. Daisy's gonna try her luck at the lottery shop. Yep, just as I thought, it was a 5 coin um, payout. Oh, Daisy got uh, second place. Because of course she did. 30 coins. I think that second place would be 50 coins. You know, get half of the jackpot. Ooh, that could have ended badly for me. Mario, you're desperately trying to make some space towards me. You might actually be going after Waluigi, to be honest. Not with a roll like that. Uh, maybe. I think he might have gotten Waluigi 
Possibly Daisy? No, there's no way he's got her. I love how Mario started the last two turns with zero coins, and now he's up to 53. And he's got a mini, so he might... Oh, he might actually go for chance time. That brother of mine is evil! Ah, uh, Luigi interacting with the Boo. It's almost like fate. It's almost like I planned this. It's also because it's almost like Luigi's the best out of the two bros. Alright, next star is down by the item shop. Actually, a little bit underneath the train station. Red Boos are very whimsical. We disappear when we like. Closing my eyes. Going big. Go home! And I'll be able to steal the coins from Daisy when she passes me. The Ripus are very whimsical that we appear when we like. Ooh, and Waluigi, you are mine! All right, I'm gonna need to make sure I don't make a high roll. Team Treasure Trek. Find the question mark blocks on your map to find of your team's color. Once you and your partner have found each block, you must meet each other in the maze. Just gotta move around, display, hide map. The two players on the left and the red left are the red team. The two on the right are the blue team. If you get lost, check your map. And we are on the red team. I always figured that would be pink team, because that's more pink than red. That's red, but the icon that showed there was not red. Stop! Let's get a good look at the map. Oh, right. It's not actually a map. It's more of a general area kind of thing. Right, there's Luigi, which means that there's our red block. Daisy's already got her block. I got the chest. She, uh, I think they got it. Yep, they got it. She was smart and was falling behind Waluigi. That's alright. I'll be getting those coins sooner or later. Preferably sooner. I don't think that the Mega Mushroom works if she rolls on the same space as you. I could be wrong. It's been a while since I've played Mario Party 4. Although I still vividly remember it. Good. Six. All right, well, it's a guarantee that we're going down. Ooh, I could have a chance at getting the coin minigame. Ooh, Mario's gonna go for chance time. Oh, please, for the love of God, roll a one. Please, roll a one. Oh, thank God. Unless he gets another mini mushroom. Nope, Mega. He screwed himself. That was exactly what he was going to plan. Alright. Uh, let's see. I need to roll a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, a 15 or lower. Well, anything but a 14. But there's also a guarantee Daisy's going to get the star next turn. And while Luigi, he could actually get the coins back I steal from him. Right, well, at least I'll still have a net bonus of 10 coins. I just need to roll 15 or lower. I still need to roll enough to get both of them, though. I mean, Waluigi is a guarantee. Daisy's could be problematic. Nine, low roll, please! 14. Oh, we got Bowser. What did I say about Bowser showing up on this board? I didn't want him to show up all the time. Even though this is the first time. Poor Luigi. Bow before me or feel my wrath. Oh, Bowser game. It's time for a something I call a Bowser mini game. 
In this game, the loser must hand over half all coins. Try your best, weaklings. I actually really love Bowser's minigames in this. They're really fun, if not very... tense. Alright. What game do you have for us this time? Welcome! Well, this time, the Bowser game is... Roots of Doom! Every minigame he has is of Doom. Wanna hear the rules? Of course. Alright, listen up, weaklings. I'm gonna explain the rules of this game. So no snoozing. Mr. Bowser will say which fruits he wants to eat. He's very particular. And you guys find him the right fruit and bring it to him. And don't mess up! Then in front of the fruit and press A to grab it. Yeah, press A, you simpletons. And bring the fruit that Mr. Bowser didn't ask for. But you bring more than the number he asked for. I love this part. Then things might get a wee bit warmer for you. Yeah, like London Boreal. Didn't know London was a part of the Mario universe. Now let's get started. I'm so very hungry! You, weaklings, bring the food to the... Sa to the... Satine, the mighty Koopa King. What am I... Re what refreshing flavor do I long for? Cherry, orange, orange, grape, something, something melon. I saw a cherry, two oranges, a grape, and a melon. Alright, well, of course, gotta go for the easy one, the cherry. There's also multiple times in this where he'll fake you out and think, oh, did you bring him the wrong food, or you brought him the food that he didn't ask for, or brought too many of it. Like I said, Bowser minigames get very tense. Alright, he's got the grapes. Alright, still got two oranges and a melon. He also takes the time to, like, examine the food as a thing. Did I pick the wrong food or something? Alright, he's going for the double cherry. I don't think cherry was twice on there. I kind of think that banana might be one of them, or pineapple. Yep. Apparently Cherry was on there twice. Alright Mario, what are you going for? He's going for orange. Alright, I'll go for orange as well. I think he gets more, like, like, strict with this food, like if you bring him two of the same food, then he's he tries to fake you out more to make you like sweat over the small stuff. I think the more times he fakes you out, the more um, of the same food you shouldn't bring him. Delish! Alright, while well, Luigi's going for the grapes. They are purple like him, so maybe this will save him. Up, oh, see if there goes the fake out. But grape was on it twice. Also think that the timer gives she went for the melon. Damn it. Oh, this could be bad. I think I might have seen Apple there. You also kinda see the Koopalines like ducking cover when he they think that Bowser's about ready to attack you. Another great uh, tense moment to try and fake you out. Triple grapes. Is it Bowser's favorite? Apparently so. Okay. Uh, we'll go strawberry. Oh please let strawberry have been on there. I'm so close to the star, please don't let all my plans go in vain. Come on, Bowser, just eat the damn strawberry. Come on, don't fake me out twice. Damn it! Finish. Poor Luigi. He can never catch a break. I honestly thought strawberry was on there. 